Hi everybody, Chris here from Trinity Holistic. Now in this video, we're going to talk about the AccuVac Core and we're also going to do a demonstration with the AccuVac Core so you can feel that effect. And this is, a, this is the AccuVac Core here and this is a particular tool that I've had for a wee while but I'm learning more about it every day. Okay, I've always known it's a vacuum for pain or vacuum for inflammation and the guy that created this tool or brought the tool to humanity, Slim Spelling, would call it that, a vacuum for pain. And this particular tool was Slim's favorite tool. He, he used to say it should be part of everyone's, um, um, everyone's first aid kit. And he always used to have that in his jacket pocket, you know. And it was always, you know, compatible and compact so you could take it wherever you, you wanted to. And he would experiment on a number of things. He found that you know that he could heal broken bones with an AccuVac call if he did it for long enough. He noticed that uh, you could change or transmute behavior in people from a, a chaotic behavior into a more harmonic uh, behavior. Um, he also he also noticed a, a number of other things: removing pain, removing inflammation. Um, Incorporating a coil like this and a, um, harmonize it with tensor rings to then create a field that went out kilometers that just changed the environment, including you know, bringing more wildlife into, into the area. So this is a wonderful tool. Now, I've had a lot of more downloads regarding this tool and I'm going to share that with you and then you're going to have the feeling or the effect of it. So stay tuned for that demo. Why I want to explain this tool, and especially the way I use it here at Truly Holistic, so you get a bit of an understanding of what's going on, okay? And, um, and we're going to talk about particles, okay? And for anybody that's doing sessions with me at Truly Holistic will know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm working a lot with the duality of, of particles. We, we can we just label it black and white, or we could just go dark or light, right? And if there's an area that's got a problem in it, it usually means that there's an accumulation of black cube particles or dark particles. And we call them cubes because the cube is a geometry that holds an intent or an energy. And it's an intent game. Everything's an intent game. I have geometry tools that we use which facilitate an energy. But what makes uh, one of my mentors, Chris Kale, always says the tool is like the gun, but the, the intent is the trigger. Right? The intent is the key aspect of everything. Um, and we're going to talk about that. So, um, first of all, I'm going to talk about the story. Uh, was I was at a, a expo, a local expo, and um, I was using the, uh, the AccuVac coil quite a lot on people, you know, removing headaches and little pains and joints, getting great results. People, you know, within minutes, could move their knee, had range of movement in their knee, their pain was gone, their headache was gone. And at the end of the day, um, there was a, another guy in a, in a stall next to me who was a, a psychic, he was doing card readings. And he came up to me and said, what is that tool? And he was pointing to this this, this tool here, the AccuVac. And he, he mentioned that he could see that it was drawing out this black material. Okay, and I found that interesting. At the time I thought, oh, okay, wow, good. You know, I'm, I'm somebody who uses pendulum dowsing. So I'm, I'm more of a feel uh, kind of guy, not, not a visual of what I can see. So late, later on, what I've come to find is we use this tool now to draw out those black cube particles. So straight away, it connected to what uh, that psychic was, was, was seeing. Now, what black cube particles are is negative intent. Okay, So negative intent Intent is a seedling for a manifestation to occur, okay? Let's use the analogy of, okay, we put seeds in the ground to grow produce. For example, a seed that you put in the, in a, in, in the ground can then manifest into a 50-foot tree that has that potential. It has so much power, a concentrated form of power, and our intent is exactly the same. Our intent, we have the choice to use it in a sabotaging way or into a charging or you know, shaping our reality and the, the reality we've always wanted or our heart's desire. That's our ability of our intent. And we downplay our intent so much, it's just unbelievable. And, and, and my focus has been on how we use our intent and, and the words that we use. And this tool is very important in regards to transmuting 
uh, that intent capability or potential, and we're going to talk about that. So, other names that you would have heard of out there in the title of this video and the demonstration we're going to do is black goo removal, right? Black goo is huge, and they talk about black goo um, being uh, you know, this dark material, black material, and what black goo is is accumulation. It's, a, it's matter, black matter, that's been created through black cube particles, which is intent. Okay, other names of this has been called boric acid vortex, again, because, again, it gravitates the waveform for uh, the black cube particles is a vortex, okay? Uh, it's a dense form of energy, and when we look at um, black holes, okay, black holes is matter that's been created through black cube particles, a concentration of it. So black cube, uh, um, negative intent, and the phenomena of a black hole is very much connected. Black hole draws out, draws light, right? When we look at in space, we see that black holes is dark matter that draws in light matter, which is a star. We are light, we are light beings, and when we get involved into anything conflicting, where low vibrational words are used and exchange, because that's an energetic exchange, a conversation or argument, you feel drained, don't you? You walk away feeling drained and, and, and low vibrational. That's because that intent and the words you've used, which are negative negative intent, has created a black hole phenomena where you, the light's just been drained out of you. Okay? It's exactly the same thing. Okay, so... Um, uh, let's have a look. Let's have a look. Okay, so what we're going to do now is... This neg these negative intents, okay, or this negative casting. I like to use the word casting because you're you're casting out an intent, right? Okay, I guess it's the same connection with when we look at black magic, uh, voodoo, witchcraft, all these sorts of things. The castings of intent. That's all they are, okay. But using in a negative way. So people are doing that every day and everywhere, okay. And this is the problem of why our reality is the way it is with collective consciousness, a lot of the times we're creating that. The suffering that we're seeing in the world of today is we're creating that because we're not understanding how to use our intent in the right way. Okay, and we're therefore putting that negative intent out which then manifests into a negative manifestation. It creates more fair energy and lowers our vibration down. Okay, so what we're going to do with the Accuvac core. Now the thing about this Accuvac core, there's two ends to it, right? And this is really the geometry uh, of the gateway, stargates, wormholes, portals, right? And the black hole is exactly in that, okay? Black hole is exactly the same thing. Um, there's two ends, and the AccuVac uh, draws in negative field, black cube particles in one end, and it transmutes it, so then when we flip it around the other side, it gives out light, okay? So dark matter in, light, in mat light matter out. Okay, so when we're talking about black cube particles, as I said, was negative intent. We draw it out of someone's body, and then we fill that space or that void that is now wanting to be filled with a field. We fill it with light, with white cube particles, which is seedlings for positive manifestation. We flip it into negative issue, negative seedlings, or seedlings are creating negative manifestation into seedlings that will then create a positive manifestation. Okay? Because we, we don't want to be lower into the lower densities, 3D, 2D, 1D. We want to ascend to 5D, don't we? This, that's what ascension is all about. Now, another reason I use this AccuVac coil in sessions is, is if we can transmute the field that is dragging your vibration down by then replacing it with vibration that then is going to ascend you up into those higher densities, it allows you to have better compatibility and calibration to source Okay, and that's important because source is giving you downloads of information because your source is evolving. It's in a cycle which we call ascension, and as it evolves, we need to keep up with that ascension here. Okay, because we are bound to our source. Okay, and if we don't, and certain parts of us stay in those lower densities of vibration because of not using our intent in the right way, um, and a number of other ways then we are at the beck and core of these consciousnesses that will just feed off our energy and these lower densities. 
If we stand those higher densities, they cannot touch us. That's that's the ability that our our intent has. Okay, so if we are in 1D, 2D, 3D, we are not in a place where we are compatible or calibrate those downloads that are coming through ascension from the gateway, which we call our sun, which is our source. And therefore, we get into trouble when areas degenerate, okay? And that's where problems occur. But if we can get you into a higher density, you have a great capability of calibrating, and you're compatible with source, so you can get all those downloads, and what you'll find, you'll become more highly intuitive, and you'll become healthier for it. So now, let's do this demo, okay? And uh, I'd love to hear your comments of what you felt, okay? So here we go. Right, for everybody watching and listening to this video, AccuVac Coil True. Draw and pull out any accumulation of negative non-compatible field or inflammatory state field that has been created through accumulation of black cube particles. Using the AccuVac Coil to draw and pull out all black cube particles from everybody watching and listening to this video, please. AccuVac Coil True. Okay, so you'll see a slight rotation there. Now that's not me moving, okay? So that's just creating, that's happening because we're drawing out black cube particles that are on the wave of a vortex, okay? So we're drawing that out for everybody watching and listening. Using the AccuVac coil, draw all accumulation of black cube particles, please. Draw and pull out all black cube particles. So initially I'll feel resistance, which I do. It's the AccuVac coil is going to be drawn to the camera. And once I feel that release, I know that the clearing's finished. And what we do is we swap it around. For everybody watching and listening to this video, AccuVac coil true. Draw and pull out all accumulation of black cube particles, creating an inflammatory field and non compatible field, please. Okay, so that's finished. And what we're going to do is we're going to flick it around, as I say. It's drawn that black cube particles. It transmutes that, and we're going to give you back light. Okay, so here we go. So for the areas that we've drawn and pulled out black cube particles from, everybody watching or listening, fill those voids and spaces now with light, please. With white hypercube particles, please. Insert white hypercube particles, lights now within those areas that we've just now drawn out black cube particles. So all of a sudden we're, trans we're allowing positive seedlings for a positive manifestation now, please. For everybody watching and listening, AccuVac Coil True. AccuVac Coil True. So as I say, there's black cube particles, that is black goo. And we're drawing that out. We're drawing the black matter out and we're bringing light back into it because we are light beings. Once we become more aware, more conscious, we become more light. Okay? We remove ourselves from the duality and we become more into a singularity and that singularity is love, the highest vibration there is. AccuVac Coil True for everybody watching and listening. Filling those areas that we've drawn out the black cube particles with light, please. Charging them with light, with white hypercube particles. Quite a bit of resistance there still. Okay, so that's releasing now. So I hope you've really enjoyed that demonstration. Okay, now this will work on headaches. Okay, obviously there may be a deeper issue that we need to work on, and that's where you book in a session uh, at treatedholistic.net and we look at specific clearings. But this clearing will really work on, you know, if you've got headaches, if you've got, um, uh, if your consciousness or you feel down and depressed or you feel heavy, you feel fearful, anxiety, um, as I say, headaches, migraines, back pain, neck pain. So they will work on those things, okay? Again, when you're watching this video, just place the intent of the areas that you want to work on, and the, this demo will work on those areas. So I hope you really enjoyed it. I'd love to hear your comments below. Now, in regards to if you're interested in a tool like this, now this tool is special because it's made with a cubit length. 
um, that no, uh, that is only tr here for Truly Holistic. We, it was given to us through my channel, through my source. And this is what we use day in, day out for people uh, with health problems here at Truly Holistic. You will not find this equipment anywhere else. So if you're interested in buying an Acupac coil, uh, please comment below. Uh, soon it's going to be on the product store uh, on TrueHolistic.net. So keep an eye out for it. See you later.